Oh, hey, new desk. This month's theme for Wonderly, more info in the doubles, is Curate, and so far it's been my favorite month on the site. I fancy myself an amateur curator. I like to use my little corner of the internet to expose people to things they might not have found otherwise. I mean, I have a whole freaking theater blog dedicated to just that purpose. Speaking of theater, I thought I'd take on this month's challenge of curation by compiling a list of three feminist characters in musical theater. Now, when I was researching this topic, I found that when you break them down, most female characters in musical theater are not exactly feminist because they're not particularly complex. Because musical theater writers have to work around the big showy Broadway numbers that audiences come for, they don't have a lot of time to fit in in-depth character development and thus kind of rely on tropes to tell their story and get their characters across. That approach is understandable, but it doesn't exactly make for the most empowered female characters. However, there are a few good female characters in original, non-stage-to-screen musicals that could be considered feminist. Number one, Joanne in Rent. Joanne is usually overshadowed by her more flamboyant partner, Maureen, but I think she's a total badass. She's a lawyer who fights for the little guys, she's a lesbian, of which there are very few in musical theater, and she refuses to let Maureen walk all over her. Most importantly, she seems to be the only financially independent person in her friend group, and she actually loves what she does. I think that's something to aspire to. Number two, Elphaba in Wicked. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the show, but I can't deny that it does have some really strong female characters who have inspired the zillions of girls who have seen it since it opened on Broadway in 2003. In the show, Elphaba manages to overcome her issues with her self-image in order to fight for what she thinks is right. She gets a lot of flack for this. I mean, she does become the Wicked Witch of the West, after all. Her relationship with her best friend Glinda kind of falls apart after their lives kind of go in different directions and they vie for the heart of the same guy, but in the end, they forgive each other and they're both changed for good. Lady friendship for the win! And number three, Susan in Title of Show. Susan is essentially the theatrical portrayal of Susan Blackwell, one of the creators of Title of Show. As a character and as a person, she's a total champ. She gets to sing one of my favorite numbers in all of musical theater, Die Vampire Die, which is all about silencing the little voices in your head that keep you from creating. She really believes in the integrity of the show that she's creating. And even though she and Heidi have a bit of a lady rivalry in the beginning of the show, they eventually reconcile their differences and become friends. So there you have it. Do you know of any musical theater characters that you would consider feminist? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you're all having a lovely day, and I will see you when I see you.